Welcome to the first bioenergy solutions project near Fresno, California, where gas is being captured from about 2,600 milking cows, upgraded to biomethane, and injected into a pipeline of a major California utility. Waste to energy, manure to biomethane, that's what we do here in just five simple steps. It all starts in the freestall barns where the cows are housed to stay clean, dry, and comfortable. Dairies are all about recycling, so we use 5,000 gallons per minute of recycled water to flow through the alleys and move manure from the barn to the processing pit, keeping the cows clean and helping us capture as much gas from fresh manure as possible. Here we are at our processing pit. This eight-sided concrete impoundment is 17 feet deep and handles all of the manure and manure water. All of the freestall barns and open lots are flushed. Everything is routed to this one processing pit. It has two agitator pumps and a concrete divider in the middle so that the manure water can be swirled around, thus making a good mix of solids and liquids. We do this so that when the pumps automatically turn on to go to the separator, we've got a real good mix of liquids and solids to have a good capture of the big fibrous material. The solid separator then removes the large fibrous material, which contain virtually no biogas, and allows the small solids and liquids to flow into the digester, where it will remain for 40 days. The solids that come off of the separator are simply reused in a dairy operation, either as bedding in freestall barns or as fertilizer for crops that are fed to the cows. When the liquids arrive at the digester, because it is anaerobic or without oxygen, bacteria are very active in breaking down any materials in the lagoon. This creates a mix of gases, methane, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide, which is captured under the cover of the lagoon. As you can see, this cover billows up several feet above the liquid level as those gases are captured. Step four is where the raw biogas from the digester is upgraded to the quality that the utility will accept it for their natural gas pipelines. When gas comes off of the digester, it is roughly 70% methane and 30% carbon dioxide with a bit of hydrogen sulfide as well. The first part of the upgrade plant uses a natural and environmentally friendly process to remove the hydrogen sulfide. This converts that gas to elemental sulfur which can be used as a soil amendment for farmland application. The remaining gas then travels to the four vertical towers where the methane molecules are separated out from the carbon dioxide molecules. The two separate streams go to different places. We'll see where the methane goes in a moment, but the carbon dioxide gas moves over to this gigantic flare where it's combusted and destroyed. Here we are by the PG&E utility pipeline. We've moved our methane over to this area so that it can be injected into the line. But before we do that, we've got to measure what we have after all so we can be sure we get paid the right amount. After we've measured the gas, it runs through a compressor and is compressed up to 650 pounds of pressure where it's injected into the utility pipeline and can be moved anywhere in this state or beyond. Once it's entered the PG&E utility infrastructure, Anything can happen, but 50,000 homes will receive power. So there you have it. Just five steps to take manure to biomethane, to convert waste to renewable energy to fuel natural gas appliances and power homes across California. Two cows can power one home. How many homes can your dairy power? Be part of the solution.